Well, if you're watching this video, I should say welcome to Pecan Plantation because you've already purchased a property and now you're trying to figure out what's next. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the con membership. We're gonna talk about getting your Texas driver's license, your vehicle registration, registering to vote, and some appraisal exemptions. So stay tuned. All right, I am Rebecca Van Buren. I am a licensed broker here in the beautiful state of Texas and you've closed. And what closed officially means is, is three things. First of all, both parties have signed, both buyer and seller. Secondly, funds have been distributed. And number three is the deed has been filed of record at the county clerk's office. Our county clerk's office is located in the annex too. It's down off Bridge Street if you ever need to go there, but for the purposes of your deed being filed of record, that's already been taken care of for you. By now, you should have received a copy of the rules and regulations of Pecan Plantation. That's about 122 pages worth of reading and the bylaws, which is about 116 pages worth of reading. I hear so many people that say, I never got a copy of that. Well, what you probably got was a link to be able to look at those documents. You would have got it from your agent who was either representing you as the buyer or the seller, or you got those from the title company. So if you would like access to those now, you can follow the link here to the PPOA website and you can read all about them. So what you're gonna do, say you've closed at 10 o'clock in the morning, I would call Pecan Plantation Owners Association and ask for member services and say, hey, listen, we just closed on our property this morning. We know that the title company is gonna be sending over our deed and our check, and we would like to come and see you this afternoon. So I would make sure that a member services representative is in there that day and that they're gonna be able to work with you. So the title company is going to actually take a copy of the deed, and not only are they going to file it of record with the county clerk's office, they're also going to fax it over or email it over to the Pecan Plantation Member Services Department and say, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Smith have officially closed on this property and I will be sending you their check for $5,080.43 because $5,000 $83.43 is the amount that was collected at closing for the initiation and transfer fee of the Pecan Plantation Mandatory Membership Homeowners Association. So I will post a link here of the new member application. You can print that off and you can fill it out or you can let them know that you're coming up to Pecan when you've scheduled a time to meet with a member services person and ask them to print it off if you haven't had access to a computer and you're gonna fill out your new member orientation. The Pecan Plantation New Member Services Department is upstairs at the Country Club. The address for the Country Club is 8650 Westover. So you're gonna park up at the Country Club, you're gonna go up the stairs and you're gonna take a right and it's gonna be the first door on your right. I would always call and make sure they know you're coming in case they're out on property somewhere or maybe at lunch. So one of the things you will get when you get your membership application filled out and submitted is they are going to give you a member card. It is not going to look like this because I've been a member a lot longer than you have, but it's gonna say your name and it's gonna have your account number on there. And so I've been told by Rick Lanchin, our general manager, that the new member cards that they haven't come out with them just yet, but the new ones are going to start having a chip on them so that when you use them at the club, it can start calculating points for those of us that spend a ton of money at the club to be able to get some rewards. The other thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to schedule time to go to the new member orientation. This is usually held twice a month. It's held on Saturday once a month, and then it's held on a day of the week once a month. So just ask the member services representative when the new member orientation is next and get yourself scheduled to come to that. After you go through new member orientation, you get your card, you get everything set up, you're gonna wanna go to the security office and get your vehicle tags. So you're gonna go in there, you're gonna fill out an application for the vehicle tag, and then you're gonna pay your fee and they're gonna come out and they're gonna place a tag on the front of your windshield up in the right hand corner. If I'm driving my car up here is where they're going to put the tag 
And now our general manager um, has let us know something new that's coming is that our security tag system is going to be able to interact with the toll tag system. So for years, every time I get a new car and I have to go get a new toll tag and a new security tag, they're always, they compete with each other for the gates. So now there's gonna be a collaborative effort to make the toll tag work to open up our security gates. So that has officially started. I personally have not gone up there to get my toll tag registered yet, but that's definitely something that you can do if you already have a toll tag here on your car. And a toll tag, that's um, ntta.org. That's the North Texas Tollway Association. And that's what, um, if you're unfamiliar with that because you've just moved here from Texas, we have toll roads and um, it automatically reads and bills your account and you can just have it on an automatic draft system. Now there's not gonna be a charge to enter into pecan plantation. It's just gonna be that it helps our reader to be able to read your toll tag versus competing with the security tag. All right, let's talk about Texas driver's license. So one of the things you're gonna to wanna to do if you've just moved here from out of the state is you're gonna to wanna to get your Texas driver's license. You must apply for your Texas driver's license in person. We do have a Granberry office that is at Annex 3, that is the Texas Department of Public Safety, but the only thing they do in the Granberry office is driver's license renewals, name changes, and address changes. You cannot apply in person for your driver's license there. If you go to that Granberry office, they're gonna give you this little piece of paper that is going to give you a website address or a QR code so that you can make an appointment to get your Texas driver's license. And you're gonna to have to do that on Pine Lane in Toller. Let's talk homestead exemptions. Once you get your Texas driver's license, you can go to the Hood County Appraisal District website. We will post a link and you can click on the residential homestead application. This is something that you are going to print off fill out and return back to the appraisal district. This is the application for you to either homestead your residential property or get your over 65 exemption to save money on your taxes. Or if you're a disabled person or a disabled veteran to be able to get those exemptions. So those are the forms you're gonna need and you are going to have to have a Texas driver's license. That is how they identify that this is your primary residence so that they will then allow you to have a homestead. I've had a buyer before, they had a son in Illinois that they want to be close to, so they had a, a house in Chicago. They have a daughter in Granbury, they wanna be close to her, so they have a house in Granbury, Texas. You cannot have a homestead on both of these. You can only have a homestead on your primary residence and what determines primary residence is gonna be your Texas driver's license. So if you come to the new member orientation and I am there, I'm a deputy voter registrar and I would be happy to help you fill out your voter registration card if, or your voter registration application. If I'm not at new member orientation that day, you can pick up one of these mail-in forms and you just complete it, fold it, and close it. No postage necessary, and that you can mail off to Hood County to register to vote. Let's talk about vehicle registration. So in Hood County, we have two vehicle registration offices. One is going to be in Granbury over off of Pearl, and that is gonna be at the Granbury Annex, 1410 West Pearl Street. The other one is going to be in the Acton area. So if you're closer to the back gate of Pecan, you may wanna to go to the Granbury Annex One. If you're closer to the front gate of Pecan, you may want to go to the Acton Annex, which is located at 5417 Acton Highway. So before you are able to get your Texas vehicle registration, you must have your car vehicle inspected. You've gotta have a Texas state inspection and any of these oil change places that you see up and down 377, as long as they have this Texas state official vehicle inspection sign on them, you can stop there and you can get your vehicle inspected. They will be able to, should you pass, immediately give you a piece of paper that you can then take to the vehicle 
registration office to get your vehicle registered. All right, if you've just moved here and you want some more information about utilities in Pecan, the Architectural Controls Committee, and possibly even what to do with your moving boxes, stay tuned for the next video.